I regret everything. So, I may have gotten addicted to Suica game. And that's a problem, because I'm supposed to be working on building my own indie game, Fire and Brimco. But I have this genius idea. What if I build Suica in my game? No, seriously, this might be the best idea I've ever had. Think about it. What do all great games have in common? Some sort of arcade, mini game, or way to waste countless hours outside the main storyline. Let's play! Suica, or the watermelon game, is a simple game where you combine smaller fruits together to make bigger and bigger and bigger fruits with the ultimate goal of making the biggest fruit of all, a watermelon. Okay, well, this watermelon's kind of small. It's not watermelon season here. This was like $15. No further questions, please. If we wanna pull off making this game, we're gonna have to go to the lab and do some real hardcore testing to see if this is even possible. Oh! Now that we know this will work, it's time to buckle up and start building this game. Since we now have the world record in building Suica game. Time, that's Suica game, baby. Suck it, Code Bullet. Just kidding, I love you. We can add some polish so your eyes don't have to bleed looking at this abstract work of art. First things first, if you notice in the real version of the game, cherries are different sizes than watermelon. So with some precise calculations, we now have the size of all our fruit. But something doesn't feel right. We can't just make the same game in our game. There's no story arc, no synergy. But wait, a watermelon is a fruit that resembles the closest to a human or demon head. So that's what we're gonna do. Instead of merging fruit, we're going to merge demon heads. That's what we'll do. Merge the heads of all the bosses, the seven sins and the devil himself for our version of Suica. Hellwika? There's only one problem with that though, is we haven't actually built out all the bosses. Bosses made by ChatGPT. Type some words and watch what you see. This should be good enough for now. Our art guy won't really care, will he? I don't know if there's a nice way to say this. That okay, we're gonna deal with him later. Now we have some actual work to do. We have to code this game to make it work. And as I hit play, everything should work as planned. What the? A few moments later. And there we go. The basics of building the game is done. That might have taken a little longer than I thought, but... Huh? Oh, what is this? Dear Grizz, I feel sorry for anyone who has endured your dumpster fire attempt at art. Please see the updated art package that will make people actually want to subscribe and watch the rest of this video to see the mega boom feature you built out. Love, your art guy hates. P.S. You can make envy. <laughs> All right, challenge accepted. I'll make Envy and we can compare against the rest of the bosses you made. This game is coming together perfectly. We now only have three features left to add, but you might be wondering, how does this even fit into our game? Well, lucky for you, that has already been figured out. In the corporate office, there is a break room. And like all top tier companies, the break room is equipped with a ping pong table, coffee demon, vending machines, and of course, an arcade machine. There will also be power-ups and achievements for beating each of the mini games we've made, but more to that coming up later. When a head is dropped and combined with another head, what would make the most sense for some sort of effect? <laughs> Candy corn, obviously. <laughs> oh, honestly, this is why I love game dev. You get to just do goofy stuff like make candy corn come out of demons' heads. But for the purity of the game, we'll swap it back to blood. Also, we added score along the way. This one is nice and simple. We'll add a couple effects. Remember that watermelon that blew up? 
And done. To really understand the Mega Boom, we have to play the full game a little bit. As we start merging the heads, there's something in Suica that normally happens that we're not seeing right now, which is a little bit of a push effect. So as we start to play the game and heads are merging, which is looking really good, we are almost ready to enable the Mega Boom. Can we get a countdown? Two, one. <laughs> this game is perfect. Let me know in the comments below if you want a standalone version of Helwika to play prior to the release of Fire and Brimco.